some days just don't go as you plan. I got up early, got up actually before sunrise, um, not intentionally, but once I was up, I decided I was gonna go out for a walk, maybe take the drone out and catch the cows and check on some of the pastures. And by the time I got the drone set up, it was uh, raining pretty good. So I decided just to walk out in the pastures and oops, step in something. Um, kind of scout out some of our next projects. This field that I'm in now, I'm gonna flip the camera around here. This field is what we call the bull pasture. And it's doing okay, but depends on what part you're in there's a whole lot of these briars or the multi-floral rows i think is what they're called um, they're just invasive and they take over everything so either my dad or i will have to get down here and mow soon and we were even thought about doing some of it today but i don't think we're going to get out in the rain we don't have a cab on our tractor and it's about 45 degrees now so that doesn't look like a a fun down the tractor so I think my dad's gonna come down either next week or the week after try to mow this field it's got a lot of rocks in it and a lot of those rocks are um, just because of erosion the grounds getting worn down so this is a field we were talking with my cousin last night our farm manager about plans for this field he's gonna overseed it I believe he's gonna use Sudan grass and clover cow peas and I can't remember I think pearl millet but that's not until May or so because the ground has to be warmer you can't just uh, throw seeds in so he's gonna drill it in with a no-till drill pushed in about a quarter of an inch maybe maybe a half inch deep and it just uh, doesn't disturb the soil much just enough to get the seed in but only in the area we're not uh, farmers who plow but this field, I love this field when it's all, all neatened up. So we need to get these weeds. I don't even know what these are. There's just little sticks that are sticking up. And we have these different places. But uh, that's the, the remnants. It uh, comes up in the summer, but we haven't mowed since then. And so they're just a bunch of leftovers in here. That might be a better look at some of the, what I was calling the sticks, where they're the flowers from the summer, just an invasive weed. And it's, I can't remember the name of it now, but I did look it up, use the Plant Snap app to figure out what it was. And it's something that cows aren't supposed to eat or they don't like to eat at least. So it takes up a lot of space. And <clears throat> you can see some of the rocks in here. And these rocks have been here. I've been mowing down here since I was a teenager. And you go over the same land enough and kind of learn where the rocks are so like we know if we're coming down the hill these are harder to see but we my dad and i know where everything is and every once in a while there's one like this it's kind of hidden there's a clump of grass next to it and you'll end up hitting it with the tractor but <clears throat> since we kind of you can use stuff near it but when it's really overgrown if we waited much longer the grass would be taller and some of these rocks would be covered and if you come over and you go over a hill the mower actually dips behind the tractor and can hit stuff. A lot of these flat rocks are easy. You can go right over those because we're not mowing that tight. But we are very ready for a little warmer weather and for the fescue to come up. And then we'll have overseeding after that and everything should look lush in just a few months. Then one day, this whole side over here, we want to get that cleared out. <clears throat> We had a brush cutter come, uh, I guess it was just last year, and do another field and took out a whole row of, and just mulched it. So he has this massive attachment on the front of his skid steer and uh, he can just run through stuff and chop it up and leave wood chips behind so that goes back in the ground. It's better than like we have in the other field where we had the bulldozer come but that field was different because we had to get rid of a lot of trees and everything so this we just need to take out the underbrush we can leave the trees in here but he can come through and just knock out a lot of the small stuff 
so that was it for me today. I just wanted to show you all kind of my, my walk in the rain. And that's a little blown out back there. Let's see if I can, there we go. Not focus on me, but focus on the field. But it's, it's peaceful out here. Like I said, it's about eight in the morning and Susie and my dad are at the house sleeping or at least not getting up. And I, it was my perfect time to get out and have some alone time in the pastures. I already said hey to the cows. And they were upset I wasn't bringing them anything else to eat, but they still had hay on the ground from yesterday. <clears throat> so I'll run back up and show, catch some uh, last second morning pictures of the cows. And in the meantime, thanks for watching y'all. See you on the next video. So that's the field I just walked up through. Long skinny field, which is so quiet and nice outside of the rain, which is kind of just a nice white noise in the background. And I climbed up to the top of this hill here, walked up to the top of this hill. Not that far of a walk. <laughs> and all of the cows are sitting up here. I think I'm gonna give them something. He said they have plenty of hay over there, but it's not quite time to feed them their sweet feed. We feed them in the winter. We feed them a, a bag of protein feed just to help supplement their diet. And they are ready for that now. But I want to wait until it's not raining or the rain slows because it's been picking up since I started walking. I want to wait until it's not raining so it doesn't get wasted, get soaked. I think they'd still eat a lot of it. But look at them, they're quiet. They're not hungry. They're just wanting the treat right if they're dessert. If they were hungry, they'd be bawling. You hear all kind of moves. But they are nice, sweet this morning. Anybody want to say good morning to the camera? Say hey YouTube. Can I get a move from any of you? No. Just chilling. There's 860 here. This one. That's the one who lost her calf. She's still kind of nice to us. That's one of our new babies there. And then the other babies are hiding. I just saw them when I walked up. But Oh, there's that white face one. With the, he has a little, or she has a little white tip on her tail. It's so cute. She's gonna be easy to identify over the years. I'm not sure if we're keeping her or not, but I'd like to keep that one. Then there's another one. Here it is, number two there. Might not be able to see the tag how it is, but that one's not even a week old. A little bull calf. This mom is trying. It doesn't have a good udder. This is her first baby trying to nurse a little bit and it's got enough to get by but not really thriving but it keeps trying it's getting enough it's not sunken in on the side like the, the one we lost but I'm gonna get back inside out of the cold and the rain <laughs> cows don't have a whole lot of shelter usually they don't care they can stand in the rain got the leather coats on but these decided to come in to where we parked the one of the trucks shelter there so that's where i cut through i think you just followed me and stayed there but you can see these don't care 